Hey everyone, I've talked about Rome Research in a few of my previous videos, but I haven't really done a deep dive into what are the core features that make it my primary note-taking app, and I use it every single day. So I thought I would cover them here so that you can see if it's something that you might want to check out. So let's take a look. So the first feature that I want to talk about is its simplicity. When you log in, you're just presented with this blank page with the date at the top. And every day that you log in, this is, this is what you're going to be presented with. You don't have to go through this complicated setup. You don't have to create hierarchies or folders or really do anything. You can just jump right in. And that can be scary. It can also be a drawback because when you're presented with the blank page, you just don't know what there is to write about. But you just got to click and just start writing. And the next feature is probably the core of what makes Rome Research such a great note-taking tool. And that's the ability to create pages as you're writing and then to have those pages linked together, this bi-directional linking. It allows you to create this web of thought that's all interconnected as you write more and more. And it really has an ease to creating these pages and links to encourage you to do it more and more often. So I like the ability of being able to have two things open at once and Rome makes that easy with the sidebar. So if you just shift click on a page, it will open in your sidebar so I can have something open on my main page and I can be writing and working in my sidebar or vice versa. So as you work more and more with Realm, you might want to have the ability to have something a little bit more than just a blank page, especially if you're doing a lot of the same things over and over again. So this is where being able to create templates come in really handy. And the way you do that is by creating a page for the name of your template and then on the same line, put in the Realm slash templates page and then anything that you nest in under that will be able to be recalled by hitting semicolon twice. So one of the templates that I use every day is for my daily notes so that I can quickly load a spot for my morning pages, my daily highlight, uh, gratitude exercise for example. So the last feature that I really like about Rome is its ability to connect to and work with Readwise. And I talked about this in a couple previous videos, but it's so good that all of my highlights from what I read can be exported into Rome automatically. And I can configure it so that it can work with my system. It really makes it a frictionless way to incorporate as a part of my knowledge management workflow. So those are my five favorite features of Rome. Hopefully you saw something that interests you and you might want to check it out for yourself. Now I will say it is a little bit pricey, but the value that I have gained out of it, like I said, I use it every single day. To me, it's well worth it. But if you just want to try it out, that you can do a free one month trial to see if it's something for you or not. But if you give it a try, let me know down in the comments below what you think of it. Or if you use another note taking app, I'd love to hear what one you use and why you think it's really good and I'll see you all next time.